Now we're all on a vacation and I never want to tell people what they can and cannot do on the balcony of their own cruise. However, there were some things that I witnessed during my recent cruise and truthfully, one of them absolutely shocked me. Please let me know what you would have done. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now I apologize if you're hearing any different noises from the ocean to even some of the people sounds. I am on my own balcony and this is something that is normal. But what I did want to do is talk to you about some of the things that I've actually seen on my recent cruise and I guess on a couple of recent cruises. And one thing in particular actually happened today while we were in port and I need to know your thoughts. I was actually pretty shocked that people did this on the balcony of their cruise. Now, three of these things are basic balcony etiquette things, I guess, that I think people shouldn't do on a cruise. One of them might have really bothered you, but the last one is really something that could potentially be dangerous, and I was actually pretty shocked to see it. All right, sunglasses on. Before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, making certain noises from your balcony. Now, I realize people make all sorts of noises on their balcony, but there's one noise in particular that I have never heard coming from another balcony on a cruise. And this was a horn. Yes, we have another cabin. I think it might be my neighbor but they are blowing a horn a couple of times a day for several minutes. And basically what is happening is it seems like at the time that we're sailing into a cruise port, so early in the morning, like at around 7.30 in the morning, I'm out on my balcony, it's super quiet and calm, and then suddenly I'm hearing a horn. <laughs> This person might think that they're like the captain and they're blowing their own horn. Now it could be worse because I think that during the day they're not blowing the horn. So I think that this is good, but I do really feel like whether it's a horn or musical instruments, these are the kind of noises that you shouldn't make on your cruise ship balcony. Now, speaking of noise on a recent cruise, we did hear other people making some noises that were definitely very annoying that I think people shouldn't do. But first, I did want to talk about something else that I saw on this cruise, and I don't think it's necessarily bad. At first, it definitely caught me off guard because I never saw it before. Now, I will explain. Basically, there is a family on this cruise ship, and I did not film them, by the way. I would never do that. But they are bathing their children in bathing suits, by the way. They're, they, are, they are dressed, but they're bathing their children in the Whirlpool hot tub that is on the balcony. And I should explain it, the cruise ship that we're on does have exposed balconies where you can see the whirlpools and they're basically every morning bathing their kids shampoo and all in the hot tub now maybe there's absolutely nothing wrong with that so after i thought about it i thought oh maybe if you have young kids they were perfectly happy playing in it and i think you do also drain your hot tub i just never thought of using the whirlpool on your balcony that's probably a sweet to bathe the kids but maybe other people do this in fairness i used to stay in an inside cabin with my kids so this topic never came up but please let me know what you think now something else and i think it's important when it does come to balcony etiquette is to realize that other people can hear you when you are outside and voices definitely do carry so when we were on a cruise actually in the mediterranean recently there were some people and it was usually early in the morning, but sometimes later in the day as well. And they seemed to be probably about five different cabins that were sailing together. However, they were on different decks. So what they would do, and we had noticed this early in the morning, like at around 7 a.m., they were organizing their plans by yelling to each other from the balconies. And I wanted to just say, can you please take your phone, maybe message each other, maybe use the chat feature in the app. But it was really annoying because they were yelling back and forth, we'll meet you at breakfast, we'll meet you on the dock. And I just thought, don't you realize there are other people? And it's like seven in the morning. It's definitely something that I wish people would realize when they're on a cruise ship, 
not to yell back and forth to each other, even if there are other cabins and people that you know. Now, don't get me wrong. I realize that I'm very lucky to be sailing in a balcony cabin. I'm very much enjoying it. And honestly, on the most part, there are not a lot of noise disruptions, but it is just something that has happened recently. And I did want to ask you what you think. Okay, so now for the biggie. And this is really the thing that prompted me to make this video. I witnessed something. We were in the cruise port today. It was actually in Port Taino in Dominican Republic. I hope that's the way you pronounce it. I could be wrong, so my apologies if I've mispronounced that. But we were docked next to another cruise ship. It was actually the Liberty of the Seas with Royal Caribbean. And it was probably at the end of the day, somewhere around 4 or 4.30. And well, what we saw is there were actually two guys that were smoking on their balcony on Royal Caribbean. And that in itself was pretty shocking because you're not allowed to do it. The other thing was we're right in port and they know people can see them. There were a lot of people that were looking at them. They continued to do it anyway. But the worst part was one of the guys took his cigarette butt or whatever else he was smoking he took it and he actually smushed it out on the railing of the balcony and then tossed it over the side of the ship where it landed on a lifeboat now i looked at that and i thought well hopefully that really has been extinguished otherwise it could have caused a fire but i was shocked to see this especially since we were actually in the cruise port and he knew other people could see him. Now, in the moment, I honestly wondered, is there anything that I could have done? But there really wasn't. But I did wonder, is the cruise ship going to know about it? Are they going to do this while they're sailing? And in particular, what really bothered me was the idea that not only were they doing something that they shouldn't do, smoking on a balcony is actually dangerous, but to actually throw that cigarette butt or whatever butt it was overboard really could potentially put people at risk, especially if they were at sea and maybe the cruise ship didn't know about it tell me please what you think i don't know if they were on film if this would have been known if they were ever caught by the cruise line but i'd love to know what do you think of this and what would you have done now i'm sure i'm not the only one who has seen things on cruise ship balconies that people shouldn't do or maybe things that just annoy you and you think is bad balcony etiquette so please let me know your own experiences down in the comments below. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this cruise discussion topic video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.